What's up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be discussing part three of our uh, pistol trips offense, and today's video is all about the read option. Uh, the read option is probably, in my opinion, the most underrated play in Madden 25 because typically we like to look for cute plays like strong power or stretches or zones or whatever or, or cute passing plays but in reality the read option is is statistically probably one of the best running plays in Madden 25 regardless of the formation and uh, today we're going to show you a little trick uh, that you can use to make it a little bit better as well and it's a very nice complement to the strong power as well as the play action uh, bootleg left that we discussed in the previous two videos. If you were absent in the previous two videos, you can check those videos out in the description, along with a couple of other recommended videos defensively uh, and different things like that. Also, I'm trying to uh, develop an offensive scheme for Philadelphia and Carolina. Uh, if you have any other suggestions for offensive schemes or even defensive schemes, uh, let me know. I also am going to try to get a big nickel defense together. I'm still working on uh, trying to get some decent pressure from it. But with that in mind, uh, let's hop into the read option and let's show you uh, how it can be used to really kind of bring this scheme uh, even more uh, together than it already was. All right, guys, so the read option, what we like to do in the same exact fashion as the strong power, uh, in this situation we see that the opponent has not base aligned. Uh, therefore, we can use our motion uh, technique. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just bring Anquan Bolden uh, over the center and we're going to snap the ball. In this situation, they played the quarterback, and so I got it to Frank Gore for huge gains. You see the easy uh, running lanes we get with these uh, pistol trips formation. Once again, let me show you the original setup. We're going to snap it just as if we were running the strong power, but we're going to hand it off to the running back more times than not because a lot of people enjoy to option play the quarterback. Real quick, I'm going to give you an, a quick example if they option play the running back uh, and they actually crash down on the run. Uh, this is where you have to kind of pay attention and see how he crashes down and therefore I'm going to keep it with Kaepernick and get to the outside and that's where the big uh, touchdown runs can really occur uh, with setting it up from the strong power to setting up the, even the quarterback from the read option you see this big play offense developing. Alright guys now I want to show you an example of when the opponent does base on. Now according to our rules we should run this play to the left side of the screen uh, but um, since we're moving Bolden across, it's really going to be not really going to matter. So I'm going to uh, kind of leave it up to you. I will run it to the right and the left, depending on the situation. Uh, typically, I like to run the read option to the wide side of the field. Um, but since we're in the middle here, just giving you a couple of examples. Um, if you want to playmaker the run to the opposite side of the field, what you need to do is use the playmaker button as if you were playmaking it to the play side of the field. What I mean by that is you want to playmaker the run as if you were playmaking it to the right. And as you see in the play art, it's going to switch the run to go into the left. Uh, this tip was also provided by uh, MaddenDaily.com's uh, YouTube channel. I, I, think I, uh, I think I saw that they had done a video, so I want to go ahead and, and kind of disclaimer that they were the first people to discover that trick. Um, but I did want to point it out to you guys. So that's a couple of tips with the read option. And now I want to kind of bring it together and show you how we can use the read option, not only to counter our strong power run, but also to counter our play action bootleg left run. All right, guys, so when we want to counter our play action bootleg left run, what I really like to do is playmaker the run to the right, and therefore I'm going to actually run it to the left, as we just discussed. And I'm going to motion Anquan Bolden to the right. But instead of snapping it when he gets over the center, I'm going to let him go all the way to the sideline and then snap the ball as if I was running that play action bootleg play. And, and as you can see, uh, it's going to start to kind of bring the scheme together. Unfortunately, uh, the Niners are getting some good block sheds, which again is a quick disclaimer that this is not a perfect scheme, but it is a very good scheme. And it can really help you guys, I think, to kind of understand the thought processes uh, of having plays that look the same as Justin Smith just blowing me up in my own backfield right now. Uh, but anywho. And then once again, once they start to option play the quarterback, which if you got, got someone like Justin Smith, you're probably not going to do that because he's a one-man freaking block shed machine. But once they start option playing the quarterback, we once again we get that beautiful uh, lane here for the running back down the middle. And this is my favorite uh, run. I love giving the ball to the running back because uh, it counters our strong power run. And you can obviously do this with the strong